Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at my Kobe collection. I actually recorded this video like a month ago, but I just completely forgot about it. I forgot to edit the video and uh, I wasn't really happy with the sound quality. So I'm just going to double over it right now. Currently, my collection contains 38 pairs of Nikes and two pairs of Adidas, as well as one pair of Reeboks that's associated with Kobe. Uh, this actually took a really, really long time to gather. Because I had to run all, all over our house for it. I don't really keep them all in one place other than the retros. Uh, the retros, I do keep it in one of my plastic sneaker boxes that I showed you guys previously in a video. I really hope you guys will enjoy this video. And uh, just to get that out there, it's not heat or anything. I'm just showing what I have in my collection. And uh, just some Kobe's that I love. Really comfortable shoes. And uh, let's just get right into it. So this pair of Flyknit Kobe 9s, grab these from Mr. Crispy Coil. Next up, you got some Tiffany IDs, really love how these turned out. Next up, another ID I created inspired by Kobe and LeBron. The guys from the 90s, they got MJ, we got Kobe and LeBron. Next up right here, another ID I picked up off of eBay, I actually added those gold aglets on myself. It's a really cheap option if you want to look them up on eBay. Next up right here, the first Kobe 8 that started it all. I grabbed these at the employee store. This colorway right here was actually one of the first colorways to drop and that's probably the last colorway I picked up. It took me a while, I wasn't really a fan of it at first but it really grew on me. This gradient pair right here was uh, actually a pair my buddy picked up for me at Full Locker. I'm really glad that he works there, grabs me stuff under retail. Uh, I actually swapped the laces from the LeBron 11 Gumbo League, so I think it's a really clean look. What do you guys think? Next up right here, this is a Hornets inspired colorway, or draft day if you will. Next up, we got the Chaos colorway, another ID, another ID, the Sprite colorway, Pit Vipers, really like this, really clean. Another ID, the Yeezy colorway, Gold Aglets once again. The Year to Snake, really like the contrasting between the silver, red, and purple. Beautiful shoe right there. Let's just make our way down over here. And let's see what we got. Got some Kobe 7s and 6s. I actually only own one pair of Kobe 7s, and this is it. Uh, I really like how clean this colorway is. This is the Home Elite colorway, giving this a lot of wear. It's really nice on feet. Dark Knights, Jokers, really love this colorway. Some Kobe questions, really, really nice quality. Should have won my 11 and a half on these ones. EQT Elevation, of course he wore these for the dunk contest. Crazy 8s, one of the first shoes that started off Kobe's career. If you've been following my channel for a while, the Kobe 5 is my favorite Kobe 5 silhouette. I need an endless supply of these two pairs right here. I have double ups, two pairs of dead stock, uh, one for each colorway. Draft day Kobe 5s, also another one of my favorites right here. Just a clean, clean combination of colors. Next up we work our way to the Kobe 4s. I believe this might be called the Black Mamba colorway. I'm not really sure, I just know it's a really comfortable shoe. It's got a lunar and a forefoot and a big zoom bag in the back, really comfortable. This one, I definitely know is from the playoff pack. Another really, really comfortable shoe. I absolutely love the cushioning system in these. If they brought these back with Fuse or Engineered Mesh or whatever it is, I talked about it recently in my Kobe 10 video, they should have just remastered or re-engineered re the Kobe 4. That would have been perfect and it's low cut mid cut whatever you want to call it next up are the kobe 3s probably one of my least favorite kobe's but i really really like how unique looking it is you got that waffle pattern on the upper once you have these on feet they actually look pretty decent but when i have them in hand they just look kind of odd to me like something's missing from the shoe i'm not sure what but uh something's missing 
here we have the Orca colorway in the Kobe 2 ST. ST is basically, uh, I believe, stand for strength, and uh, it's supposed to be the playoff shoe. So this is the early on elite or postseason version of Kobe shoes. They used to bring it out for uh, Kobe's and LeBron's. Next up, we have the classic black and white, black and yellow, sorry, colorway and the Carp DM. Uh, theme right here. Just, I'm actually surprised they haven't used free and the harem bow more often throughout the years just to try it out and see how effective it actually is. I should completely forgot about this shoe. This is the Kobe 8 Elite uh, in the black and gold colorway. I actually brought these to China so I, I kind of left it in the bag and completely forgot about it. And uh, let's just move on to the Kobe 1, shall we? Finally made it, guys. Kobe 1s black and yellow can't go wrong next up black and purple this is called the blackout colorway exactly why the new kobe tens are called blackouts black and purple this is the blackout colorway or the black mamba i actually added some gold aglets on it just to make it a little more fancy all-star colorway there's actually multiple versions of this shoe black and white this is actually my cheapest pickup from a guy picked this up for 40 bucks they're kind of beat up kind of paint chipping but still very wearable and still very comfortable to this day released in 2006 what a great great model I, I love the Kobe ones it's a really comfortable shoe reminds me of the Hirachi it fits like a Hirachi but uh I know I don't have any like um, 2k5s 2k4s because the 2k4s they they've never fit my foot well and they actually hurt because they're too narrow 2K5s I've never encountered, so I don't know how they fit. I also don't really own any of the, the, the older Adidas models and the Kobe's. I don't have the, uh, what do you call it? The, the KB2s, is it called? Or the, the Kobe 1 or the Kobe 2? I didn't like any of them, of how they looked. Uh, they've got to be visually appealing to me, and they've got to be comfortable. That's my main standards for... Uh, the majority of my shoes but yeah my videos pretty much coming to an end I hope you guys all enjoyed this long ass video and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video peace